Boeing 737 new gen fuel system, including a fuel transfer, uh, fuel quantity indicating system, bite test, and some uh, component locations. General overview. Uh, the 73 is it's as simple as it comes when it comes to fuel. So it's got t uh, three tanks. It's got two main tanks in each wing and a centre tank. It's got uh, two surge tanks which collects for fuel overflow. It's got a nitrogen generation system to remove the oxygen of the centre tank. You can pressure fuel it. It's used for engine and APU fuel feeding. You can defuel the system and you can test it. It's also got um, fuel temperature indication. We'll start with the tank to tank fuel transfer, which is only done on the ground. Uh, pilots can't do this. It's purely for maintenance. So if you're going to transfer fuel out of number one tank or the centre tank, uh, set the cross V valve to open like that. You'll see the valve open light go bright blue and then the steady blue. That's the bright blue is when the valve's in transit. If you're transferring fuel out of the number two tank, then you leave the cross feed valve closed. So for the tank that you want to remove fuel out of, set those fuel pumps on. Make sure you get the low pressure lights go off. So that's a picture of the aft wing fuel pump. This is the location of the forward, so it's under the Kruger flaps on the leading edge. Looking at the refueling panel and the defueling panel. So this is the defuel handle which you need to select to start the transfer and with the refuel valve open for the tank that you want to put fuel into then wait for the blue light defuel valve open and the pumps that you want to take fuel out of and that should start the process So there we're showing the refuel valves, that's a manual selection if you need to force the fuel in manually. That's the magnetic switch for the door to power the panel. That's the refuel coupling. It's quantity. There's a three position test switch, uh, also a fuel door bypass switch if the magnetic switch on the door has failed, you can get power that way, just puts power to ground. The other one is for testing the gauges, the LCD displays. So the forward equipment bay, we're looking at the FQIS. It's just on the left hand side looking forward. So the FQIS has three signal conditioner circuits and a byte card and you interrogate it through the CDU. So if the card sends impedance to the tank units and compensators and it reads again the impedance 
from the units and the compensators and does a comparison. It calculates total fuel weight for each tank. It changes analog signals to digital to go to the DEUs and sends and receives fault data with the FMC. So to access the FQIS byte, uh, you go to the CDU, line select uh, maintenance, FQIS, and you'll get the main menu pages. So current status, shows any fuel indication faults that currently exist. In flight is the recorded faults. Ground test, it, te it does a test of the FQIS processor. IDINC config shows data from the config of the processor unit. Input monitoring shows real time fuel quantity data for each tank. And actually on the next page would be a array's fault history. It didn't show that. So indication on the display units is quantity for each tank, total quantity and fuel flow for engine. It's not really related, but you'd also get some messages on that indication, fuel imbalance low fuel indication, things like this. So just a quick component location. So that's the left hand fuel pump aft. There's a jettison pump for the scavenge system. There's your APU shutoff valve. That's the centre pump, centre tank pump, left. You don't want to be changing that. That's the right hand centre pump. That's the pressure switch. That's the transfer valve. You can see a scavenge pump. Scavenge pumps are purely mechanical, there's no electrical input. That's the right hand wing aft fuel pump. to walk down the wing. So you've got the uh, spar valves, defuel panel, uh, refuel station only on the right hand wing. You've got the tank manhole covers all on the lower side, the magnetic indicators. You've got the surge tank vent on each wing and the pressure relief valve if the uh, pressure fuel is too high that'll pop there's 32 tank units in the fuel tanks there's one compensator in each tank 
the tank units measure the fuel weight and the compensators correct for differences in fuel properties.